Have you ever flown one of these before? I'll put my hours up against yours anytime. Well, mercenaries get around. Yep. Well, I guess if I have to have a partner in this plan and pull rabbits out of a hat two weeks early, it might as well be somebody who's been there. Maxie. My good luck charm. Well, she's grown into a real beauty since then. Nice. Keep it. I've got a copy. Looks like a happy little group. Yeah, it is. We make our own beds for this guy. That was mine. What is it? What, what? I'm going to be landing this sucker soon, and I'm counting on you to watch my back. Works two ways, pal. If you got a problem with Felicia, I'd like to know about it up front. I've got no problem with you and my wife. Ex. Wife. Whatever. Everybody deserves a little happy ever after. And Maxie? What about her? She's not your ex-daughter. She's a little girl. She probably doesn't even remember me. Are you kidding? I spent half my time lugging around an oversized bear. She liked it? She loves it. That's nice. You figure, out of sight, out of mind, you know, especially with kids. Not at all. Now, she knows all about Frisco Jones. Well, she knows about the myth. Not much about the man. As it should be. Pedestals could be dangerous. The higher you put them, the farther you fall. What about Felicia? Is she happy? At the moment, no. I mean, generally, with her life before Maxie got sick. You mean, is she happy with me? We've had our bumps, but nothing we didn't get through together. No, I'd say she's happy. Good. She deserves it. She's a very special woman. Would you like to expand on that? There's nothing to expand on. Whatever we had ended the day we both realized that I'm not a nine-to-five man to please her. But just wait a minute. You know, I never punched a time clock in my life, and I've been able to make an emotional commitment. The bottom line is Felicia and I are divorced. Now, whatever type of relationship you two have, I wish you all the happiness in the world. Oh, did we just get your blessing? Not that you need it. You're obviously very secure in your relationship. Does it show? Well, any man that would go halfway across the world to bring back the ex-husband into the picture is either very secure or a fool. And seeing as my life is in your hands for the next few days, I choose the first option. Is my brother involved in taking care of Maxie? Not directly. Tony comes to visit. Uh, Simone Hardy's a pediatrician. Monica Quartermain's supervising the heart problems. Oh, that's good. Tom Hardy's been in Somalia for a while. Yeah, I heard he's stationed down south near Kismayu. I haven't had an opportunity to get in touch with him. We're kind of working opposite sides of the road. I don't know why you can't take a minute. What the hell was that? Well, someone's firing at us, obviously. Oh, yeah, who? Oh. I don't know. It could be opposing rebel forces. Maybe our very own Georges. How the hell am I supposed to know? Right. Never a dull moment. <sighs> Nicely done. Ah, well, you've flown one bird, you've flown them all. I guess so. So what were you flying when your parents were killed? Real subtle, Frisco. Your brother was my best friend. When you walked away from that plane crash on the outback, it stuck with him the rest of his life. 
Once he knew that I came back for him, he forgave me. Whether you do or not is your problem. That's our landing zone. I'll circle it if you want to check our surprise drop. Cargo, your call. Should go in 10 second intervals. Cargo hatch is open. How we doing? Right about now. Bye bye, birdies. <laughs> what was that about? Just about a half a ton of food and firepower. Loaded in the cargo bay. If you don't want to unload it, you know I can find somebody else if you have a problem with it. Why did you circle the plane up there before landing? Because I'm the pilot and I decide when and where to land. You sure it wasn't to signal someone letting them know our location? It's bad enough. I gotta take artillery fire at 10,000 feet, but I gotta listen to this guy accuse me of turning? Now, Mac, Mac, he didn't mean it, I'm sure. Look what you've done. I mean, you didn't mean it, did you, George? You were taking fire up there? Who shot at you? You're the one with all the enemies. You tell me. There's been a lot of action around here. You know, we were wondering if you were under attack, too. We didn't even know you were still in the area. Georgie! Oh, save <laughs> Well done, Diego. Welcome to my family. With this newest infusion of supplies, we can convince these seven villages to cast their lots with us. Once the chiefs of the villages realize how much better they have it, then the whole momentum will turn on us. Then it's just a matter of time. Look, I hate to interrupt your political science lecture here, but your men are making a bit of a mistake back here. How's that? They're loading the food in with the weapons. My men cannot fight on empty stomachs. Hold it! Now, that food was my payoff. That's my cut. I sell it in the black market, remember? Things have changed. Sounds like we get the Frank screws put to us. Hey, Georges, wait a minute. We had a deal now. But hey, what's in a deal, right? Bon appetit. Easy on the garlic. Democracy! We're under attack! <laughs> coming from? I'm not sure. I, I think we're surrounded. We need more ammo. I'll make a run for the truck. I'll cover you. Please do. Get the hell out of here. 